Also tonight, the search intensifies for the suspects wanted in last week's shooting outside Roxboro High School. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Siafa Lewis. Yuki and Jessica have the night off. Police sources tell Eyewitness News they are investigating a possible connection between the Roxboro attack and other deadly shootings in the city. Eyewitness News reporter Kerry Carrado is live outside of police headquarters with the very latest. Good evening, Kerry. Good evening, Siafa. That's right. Investigators are laser focused in finding these suspects. Ever since the shooting, we have been learning more about them as police narrow their search. Police want you to take a look at suspect number one, suspect number two, and suspect number three. Investigators believe they are tied to the shooting outside Roxborough High School. This was definitely a well orchestrated um, shooting. Last week, police say 16 year old Dayron Bernie Thorne and five shooters ambushed a group of teens, wounding four and killing 14 year old Nicholas Elizalde as they were leaving a football scrimmage. We're looking into the possibility whether they are connected to other, other shooting incidents. Sources tell CBS3 police are examining a possible link between one of the shooters and two other homicide cases in the city in recent weeks. One on 35th Street where Temple graduate Everett Beauregard was shot and killed, and a second on 13th Street in North Philadelphia where a 19-year-old was shot and killed. After the shooting at Roxborough High School, investigators recovered an abandoned gray SUV, and you can see it right here in this surveillance video as the suspects make a pit stop at a gas station. You can see one suspect enter the gas station convenience store, another suspect is spotted pumping gas, and a third suspect also entered the store. Police also recovered another vehicle on West Willard Street, which they say was used to drive the shooters back and forth to the gray SUV. While investigators are narrowing down their search, they are urging the suspects to turn themselves in. Nicholas Elizalde's funeral was held today. In the meantime, police say a motive for this shooting is unclear at this time. We're live outside of police headquarters tonight. Kerry Carrado, CBS3 Eyewitness News.